we're back in the chart and we're going to start diving into these things in detail. Now you have a good foundation, hopefully. So favorites and rejects, the simplest of all the range tools. The thing to understand about favorites and rejects is they're non-overlapping. Okay, their possible usage you can use for them is the best elements in a take, interview logging, B-roll, etc. And obviously rejects would be the opposite of that. So let's look at how we would use those. So here's a, a couple shots from that same student feature my son worked on. And let's um, think about how we would use favorites and rejects in here. So um, let's take a look at this. We've got a slate coming in here. Oh, looks, I'm sorry. Look at this. We're on a high rejected because um, I'm thinking, where's the slate? So what I've done here is I've already marked where the slate is and I've just rejected that because really there's no way I'm going to use that except for some uh, outtakes. So I've done that with these three clips here, the rejected areas, which gives me a really nice view. So now I can go up here and I can hide rejected and I can just see the clips with the elements just as I want them. Okay. And if you remember in the previous uh, couple minutes ago, I showed you that little gotcha. If you make a rejected inside of a clip, in the middle of a clip, you're going to find that you now have what looks like double clips. Now, what I typically do is when I'm going through um, some shots, the way I use favorites is I'll be saying like, okay, um, maybe inside this element, I might um, realize, okay, you know what? This is really the best take from like here on out. Um, so I'll hit I and then I'll go over here and hit favorite. And again, kind of moving on and say, okay, this really wasn't my favorite. Uh, ha ha. So I'm not going to mark it as a favorite. And then over here, I might say, okay, that's a, that's a favorite element. And look at the way these are using, are working together. It's really kind of cool. Um, you can have um, a rejected area and a favorite area inside the same clip. And you can, you know, isolate those if you want to, just like this. But here's a gotcha though. You can't have overlapping ranges in a clip. So say for example, in this clip here, we decided to add another range. I'm gonna option drag and then hit F for another favorite. Okay, look, I've got two favorites here. And maybe the first one, I wanna add a little note. I wanna say, oh, you know what? This was a great intro. And this part here, was looks like he had kind of a funny smirk okay a uh, funny smirk and then i realized oh you know what this kind of area here this is kind of interesting he oh you know what he's he's clicking his fork this might be good for some some uh, foley later so or just some production sound later so i'm going to favorite this and say for, whoa what happened where's my other favorite ranges well they're gone they're not really gone. They're included in part of this fork. The fork is now this entire range there. So you can't have overlapping favorites. Because, and if you name them, you'll be bummed because they're going to be gone in that way. Now, another way to use favorites that a lot of people I've seen is with interviews. So here's an interview. And this is in Spanish, I believe. So yeah, anyway pastor in, in Mexico being interviewed. So this is a way that some people use favorites, okay? So you might look at this and say, okay, this is the sitting down, which might be useful. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to mark this, and I'm going to call it sitting down. And then right here, this is, he introduces, you can hear it's in Spanish. Yeah, and I can't understand Spanish. So <laughs> we're just going to kind of guess right here. So this is going to say, we're going to add a favorite for this. And this is going to, he gives his name. Gives name. And then over here, let's say he starts introducing his family. Okay. So favorite, great. Introducing family. Oops. Spelled that wrong. Excuse me. Oops, what am I doing? Introducing family, okay. Now, this is all fine and good. However, once we start using these things, 
and in an interview place, I keep things just in list view. And I'm going to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to throw down here on the timeline. Let's start with sitting down. E to throw that down there. And then, uh, you know what? I And I'm just going to do, actually, I'm not going to have the name because I'm going to lower third that and I'm going to be introducing family. So I'm just going to have those two elements. Well, the issue here is now because of the way metadata is held in favorites, I can't see any of it down here. All I've got, I can look at clips and I can see, okay, manual one, manual two, but there's no tags that I can see this information of sitting down or introducing family and what that's about. And on top of that, I can actually add notes here. Um, nice, oops, nos, nice, what does that mean? Um, and again, let, let's try this. Let's get rid of these again. Let's put this one down there. And now I'm hoping to have some notes and I have no notes. In fact, the only note I have is from the main clip. Wait, well, hey, let's see, let's try this again. Maybe there's something else here. So main clip note and now let's put these three down here well, look what I have I have three copies of the main clip note so this clip metadata is the only thing I have do you remember in the chart let's see let me go back to keynote look at this the metadata for favorites and rejects I have main clip metadata I have favorite label and favorite note but what gets transferred to the timeline only the main clip data so favorites might not be the best option for cutting an interview. Another way I've used favorites is when I have been looking at a lot of B-roll and I want to uh, just quickly um, look at that B-roll element. So here's some stuff uh, down in Albuquerque. My wife and I were walking by the, uh, the river and we saw some cool looking birds. So one way I might be using favorites here is I'm just going to drag out, I'm going to actually select everything, option X to get rid of all those. I view in film strip, I like two seconds or so, and I'm just going to look at what's nice. Because in this case, I'm just cutting quickly. I don't, I don't need, I'm not terribly concerned. I was like, oh look, that's a neat looking sunset. So I'm just going to favorite that. Oh look, balloons. Okay, get that balloon. Nice balloons, nothing there. Oh look, ducks, flying ducks, sweet. Um... Let's see what else is neat. Okay, this is neat. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's a neat looking sky. This is the Sandia Mountains in Albuquerque. A little jiggly on my iPhone. <laughs> a little jiggly. Oh, look. Wow, look at those ducks. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. And let's see. Oh, look. And there's a little string of ducks there at the end. I'm not going to really include that in there. So the cool thing about this is using B-roll or just maybe an assembly or some kind of montage. I'm not terribly concerned with the items there. So let's put favorites. Let's kill here. And I'm just gonna select these, hit E, boom. I have an assembly of my favorite stuff that's here. So very useful if you're trying to go just really quick. You're not too concerned about keywords. You can just get a um, edit done quite fast. So that is favorites and rejects.